trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast. So today I want to discuss something that I heard Dakota Meyer, who's a veteran and PTSD advocate, recently discuss on Joe Rogan's podcast. And it's really something that encapsulates the basis of living a life of significance. So it's a motto that he crafted from a poem that he read, and it is, Own Your Dash. So for those who die and are buried, they're typically buried in a cemetery with a tombstone. And on those tombstones are normally their day of birth, a dash, and then the day that they died. Your day of birth and your day of death are actually some of the least significant days in your life. You don't really do all that much on the day you're born or the day you die. And with death, this is really in the case of dying of some form of illness or natural causes rather than a freak accident of some form. But on top of that, these two days are also the only days in your life that aren't a full 24 hours. You don't even live a full day on these two days. So between your day of birth and the day you die on your tombstone is that dash. And that's what Dakota Meyer is referencing from the poem he read. And that's what you're owning, is is you're owning the period of time that's between your day of birth and your day of death. And your dash, which is everything in between is also what's thought of about you from the time you die and all the way on. So with understanding this, you should really be empowered as well as motivated to make the most of your life, to make the most of that dash by creating a life of significance for yourself that's filled with love and makes a tremendous impact in society. And by doing this, you will truly be living this motto of owning your dash. So this concept of owning your dash is also similar to Joe Rogan's concept of living like you're the hero of your own movie, which is something that I've discussed on this podcast previously, as well as discussing in my book that's being released this January. So ultimately, this just surrounds taking control of your life and making the most of it. So some basic steps for doing so to own your dash or be the hero of your own movie or whatever you want to call it is to first be self-accountable and always focus on doing your best as well as doing the right thing in the present moment. From there, you should find your purpose and the meaning surrounding the life of significance that you want to create. And then you should go down the path of creating that life of significance with resilience as well as being willing to face adversity and failure. Then from there, don't forget the previous steps. And with that, you'll be owning your dash. I hope this talk makes a positive impact in your life. Please subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening or watching it. Check out other episodes, leave a review, and follow us on social media at More You Know Pod. Also, please don't forget about our sweepstakes. Retweet a clip with the hashtag The More You Know and New Podcast from our Twitter for a chance to win a signed copy of my upcoming book, The More You Know. Tag two friends in the comments on a clip on Instagram for a chance to win a brand new copy of Dean Graziosi's Millionaire Mindset or Ed Milet's Max Out. Like us or share a clip on Facebook for a chance to win a book I have read that highly inspired me, signed by me with an inspirational message. Again, thank you for listening as we provide hell with podcasting through the more you know i'm just trying to make it all make sense the more you know podcast